Hello, witch folk. <laughs> Welcome to our coven. We are Angels on Broomsticks. We are a mother-daughter duo. I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And you are tuning in to the fourth day of Witchmas. So, seven days, seven videos. We're going through our favorite palettes of 2020. They didn't have to be released in 2020, but there are our, they were our favorites. What we got today? What do we have today? We've got... Dose of Colors, Friendcation, uh -huh. and it looks like this. It is a Desi and Katie collab. It's probably most famous for being a neutral with a pop of blue. Mm -hmm. And this blue is spectacular. Yeah. And I've coveted this palette for like months and months and months and months and months. But because we're in Canada, we have to only order it from the Dose of Color website, which means... You know, during COVID times, it's hard to get things shipped. And um, we don't have an Ulta yet, and nor are we getting an Ulta, I found out. Um, Ulta is just going to focus on their online sales and forget Canada, which is a bullshit <laughs> know, move, I'm Ulta. I'm so excited. Anyway, so I know what I'm going to do today because I'm not going to go for the wallflowers. I'm going to go straight in and dive into that. Beautiful blue, mm -hmm. and that's going to be my jam today. What's yours? I'm going to be a basic beige. I very rarely do just total neutral look, but I'm going to do it. I am. And I want to talk about some contour, contour bronzing steps that I have seen people doing lately, and I think we should try it out. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And it has to do with what? Making to... your cheekbones look like Queen Latifah? Yes, because <laughs> <laughs> I was watching um, Last Holiday. That's what it's called, right? Uh, last night. I've already seen it. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies. But last night, something about it was just hitting just all the feels. I'm like, this is the best Christmas movie ever. Except that they don't mention Christmas. No, they never mention Christmas, which is also what I love about it. <laughs> okay. It's the holiday season. There's holiday oh, decorations there's okay. everywhere. There's New Year's Eve. They never mention Christmas. I love it. Uh, it's my favorite. It's the best. But anyway, Queen Latifah, she was just mesmerizing me. I was just thinking about how she would be the most perfect face to ever put makeup on. Everything is just perfect and she has these cheekbones that swoop in like so perfectly to her mouth and this is sort of the contour creation we want to attempt on our paltry faces are we going to do that first or yeah okay so and i've seen people doing this and this is the idea behind it okay you know how we all sort of bronze here contour here mm-hmm Katie Jane Hughes did this and Jamie Genevieve where you sort of see where you're, when you talk, doo -doo 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 -doo, what muscles are sort of forming here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I see right here. See, we're, you're going to like emphasize as when you do those sides, you're also going to bring your contour down to your mouth almost. So you can really emphasize that whole area. Okay. Got it? Okay. Are we going to use, I'm going to use a cream. I'm not. Because I only have one cream bronzer and it's just so warm toned. I'm gonna go mm. for powder. Okay. We're gonna see how it goes. I think I might even do. How do we start? Like in the on the okay. side. Yeah. Where do we start planting color? On the huge. The huge. Like the side and then swoop down. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I think. I think I'll use a combo of contour slash bronzers. And so yeah, pay attention to where you're. You talk. What about that? Uh, I don't, I don't have any. Yes, contour. everybody does. Don't, don't. Mm. Well, ba, 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 ba. so, I'm thinking, just doing this whole area. Okay. But a bit of a gradation. Don't just slap a big shook and call it a day. I had a friend no, in no. when I, I went to school with who used to do that. She'd have a streak. A streak. Of bronzer or contour. We we didn't like have blush. that back in I know, the day. I was gonna blush. say blush. It was orange. Oh, orange blusher. Okay. I had a pap smear today. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> How did that go? Well, 
My, um, that, that thing that you put in. Yeah, the spe speculum. Speculum. Is it? Uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. Did you know that they come in sizes? No. She got the two kid one for me. Oh, if you have one child, two child, three child. Did more? you know this? She said, I'm going to get the two kid one. And she opened it up and she stuffed it in and my body kept projecting it. And she kept trying to look inside and she, she even said at one point, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and did she ever figure it out? Finally, oh, and then she apologized profusely. Oh, um, wow. Well. <laughs> the two kid one. I don't mm. know if I can see anything. I, need I feel it. like I can see. What I also want to do is maybe put a little bit extra concealer here to create, to make it pop more. Okay. Like a, like a, a bake. Like a bake. I'm going to bake. Really? Do you have enough powder to bake? Yeah. I only have my tiny little... Hourglass powder. Is that all you own? Mm-hmm. Are you kidding? You don't mm -hmm. have a loose? It Are is you loose. Yes. That's so funny. I know I'm, I'm uh, behind the times. So yeah, like, kind of like, like, like that. <laughs> Boo. Mm -hmm. Is that weird? Probably. You gotta try things, you know? Mm -hmm. Change your technique up, otherwise people can really date you. <laughs> like, I wonder what that girl from my school looked like now, if she still has that streak. Gosh, imagine. I don't remember her name. Okay, so that maybe makes the, the bronzer a bit too much of a harsh streak, but that's why we have blending. Can you see it on me? I feel like a little. That's we'll, a good we'll see at the end. But we have oh, to yeah. add our Look blush. what I got. I, I'm going to put an, a layer of... Look who project panned. <gasps> oh, look at that. I'm proud of you. Me too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a bit of that on. Okay. Yeah, this shows up more. Yeah. I would say start light if you're going to sort of try techniques like this and then build up to a darker color when you feel ready. Okay, I'm going to blush. Okay, blush. You gotta integrate it into that whole upward thingy. I saw a technique of blush that was Korean. Okay. That Alexandra Anil did. What um, is it? You do it like around, like a little, kind of cartoony. But it's cute. Like really obviously? No. Or? It looks cute in the winter when, like, just a little flush mm. of pink. Okay, and then I'm gonna highlight. We're gonna move on. Oh, I also saw the highlight tip. Oh, I think I've already shared this of the Fenty's makeup artist who does this whole the Fenty glow. What? They just do this whole C shape. Oh yeah. This whole area, and she does it hard with that diamond bomb. Mm -hmm. Eyes. 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 eyes, eyes. eyes. <laughs> it's an inside joke, people. One day we'll share it with you. We should share it. Okay. I feel like you have to see it, but how do we even explain it? You it's gotta explain it. It's, it's a thing. song from the 60s or 70s by this Italian recording artist. And it's just made up English words. Yep. It's and so funny. Because the idea was that everyone just loved the melodies of like the rock and roll at the time. I don't know exactly, but... It sounds like they say freezing cold. Freezing ice, cold. Ice, ice, yeah. all the time. And at one point, I hear, so bit of the government. But it's all just nonsense. Yeah, it's all gibberish. Can you put a little link to the video? I think so. Yeah. I th let's drop that video down below in case yeah. you're interested. Yeah, it's, it's so, so funny. funny. It'll make your whole, it makes me so happy. It's even on um, uh, Spotify, like I, yeah. I downloaded it because it just makes me happy. Only we can't say the name because it's some weird gibberish long word like prison something. It's funny because I would, I often have wondered. Okay, so if you don't know English, what does it sound like? You know, if you don't understand the words, and I feel like that song kind of if, yes gives you an idea of what English sounds like. Breathing cold ice. Here, do you want me to ice. look it up? It's called Prison Colin Sinane 
Cusol. <laughs> Prison <laughs> Colin. That's by Adriano Salentano. <laughs> there he is. He's very cool. So, do you have any mm-hmm. underrated holiday movies? Because I think Last Holiday is the most underrated. I think that's underrated. I think they overrate Scrooged. Oh, I never really uh, seen it. I tried to watch it with Bill Murray. Oh, I Bill Murray. I was bored. Mm-hmm. I like one of my favorites that, I mean, they don't play a lot of the good old crappy no. Hallmark ones. No. And those were the best. But I think I like Family Stone. And um, I, I don't know if that's, is that underrated? But I no, like that no one. No, really about that one. I can even watch that when it's not Christmas. Mm-hmm. I always think I don't like it until it's on. Why? Really? Yeah, I don't know. Sarah Jessica Parker plays a bit. <clears throat> <clears throat> what? That's what she does during the whole movie. Oh, that's true. <clears throat> <clears throat> It's just so how it takes And they're it. so mean. The family she goes yeah. to spend time with, the Christmas holidays with, are so mean so to her. So mean. Okay, so I'm just deepening up my blend in the crease. You, I guess this is a pretty warm palette, besides the blues. So it's going to be super warm toned. This blue turns purple. Yeah. It's like got that duochrome Dimension. I'm also going to do what I've been doing a lot lately, which is really bringing this blend out. Maybe I'll even take more bronzer to integrate it later. We'll see. Oh, like your cat eye swoop? Yeah, it's like a upward whoosh. Do you have a favorite kind of brush? Yes, I told you. No, it's I'm these gonna... flat kind of stiff mm. rounded at the tip you could use it for anything you can blend you can pack on color you can use them for precision and you can line with them mm. i don't turn to those often those are my favorite i have so many and you get put glue on them mm-hmm. an underrated brush i'm also going to bring this under the eye, super blendy and like further down than you might sort of initially go. As long as you keep that blend blendy. Yeah, I just packed mine on the lid and now I'm just going, I'm also gonna blend it upward. Yeah, I want, I'm gonna stick my finger in it. Just to see how intense. Yes, look at that. (gasps) Okay, question for you people. I have this part of my eye where color clings more. It's so weird. It's probably not obvious to you, but like right here. And then trying to blend it out, I have troubles. If you've had that, let me know. Because it's so weird. I've seen other YouTubers and makeup people say they have these spots that makeup just doesn't stick. So weird. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with the Goldie Champagne color. I'm gonna put that in my little inner corner. And I'm also bringing the sparkle up a little bit to the brow bone through the blend even. Is this our basic look? Sparkle? Well, yes. <laughs> I never said it was going matte. I said it was going neutral basic beige. Okay. I'm gonna blend. I don't think I'm done. Yeah, sounds good. We're gonna, and let's do our mascara and be back. Okay. We'll be back. What's this Mark Jacobs thing? Oh, I put this Marc Jacobs pale pink in the waterline. Much better than a white, which can look really harsh. Oh, nice. You know, when you want to like open up your eyes a little and you want to put a brighter Uh eyeliner, get a pale pink or pale, pale purple. That's my tip today. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, And this Mm. cacao to the rescue? I found my Anna's cacao. Well, you're not going to use it though. But I didn't bring it. Do you ever not want to wear lipstick? No. You do? Mm-hmm. 
I like how much it ties the look in together. I like it when it's there's nothing there. Hmm. I'm trying a new lip color today, so I don't really know how it's gonna look. It's one of my new MAC ones. It's a brown. Oh. I think I'm gonna use one of my um, Lisa Eldridge. Pretty, this goes really well with Endless Cacao. Yas. I am feeling this basic beach look. Okay, yes, I think that's it. That's it for today. That's today. Better than yesterday. <laughs> So we realize we always have to pre-discuss what we're going to talk about a little bit. Because I didn't understand a word she said, and all I cared about was what I got in my boxy charm that day. Oh my God. Yeah. So I was just rambling away. But maybe some of you were interested. It's definitely a cool topic. If you didn't see our past video, check it out. <laughs> but we're going to pre-plan. I'm going to let you, let you in on my thoughts before, and she's going to let me in on hers. And today we just knew we were going to talk about Queen Latifah and uh, basic beach looks and contouring. Yes. <laughs> so, let us know how you feel. Do, Do like you this? like a basic bitch with a pop of blue palette? Um, what is that color called, the blue? A moment. A moment. A moment. Yeah, everyone, everyone should have a moment in their life. <laughs> All right, we'll see you tomorrow for another day of Witchmas. We're getting near New Year's. So we're going to do a super glam New Year's look. So definitely keep watching. Bye, Bye witches. witches.